So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your own custom mouse cursor on Windows 11. So by the end of this video, you are going to be able to have your own custom mouse cursor on Windows 11 that is fully functioning. So if this does help you out and you do find it helpful, I really would appreciate it if you could all drop a like and subscribe as I'm doing videos like this all the time. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So yes, guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get your own custom mouse cursor on Windows 11. Now, for those of you who don't actually currently have Windows 11, check out my video in the top right hand side of the screen right now. As in that video, I do explain how to actually get Windows 11 and everything that you do need to know about it. So if you don't currently actually have Windows 11 or don't really understand it, I do highly recommend that you do watch that video. But if you do have that and you have Windows 11 installed, this is the first thing that you guys are going to want to go ahead and do. So you are just going to head down to the search bar right here and just type in mouse. And the first thing to come up is going to be mouse settings. And you guys are going to go ahead and click on this right here. Now, I did actually do a video on how to change your mouse cursor on Windows 11. But in this video, it's going to be how to get your own custom mouse cursor. As with the options I show you in this video, you guys can change a lot of stuff, including the color, the size, etc. Also, if you are interested, there are actually a few settings you can play about with here. But that's not what we're going to be doing in this video so from here you guys are going to go ahead and scroll down down to the mouse pointer where you can see it says mouse pointer size and color and as you guys can hear we actually have pointer styles so we do just have the very basic one next we've just got the black one which in my opinion does look quite clean as it does actually have a white outline next we do have one that goes transparent and in my opinion guys this is one of the best ones as it does actually look quite cool and as you guys can see it does actually change the color when i tab out and next we've got one that is just a color and as you guys can see as soon as you click on this you do actually have recommended color but what you can go ahead and do is actually choose any color that you want so I can go ahead and click on add and as you guys can see pick literally any color that I want that does actually exist but for me I'm going to pick red as that is my favorite color and next we have some more options including the size which of course you guys can have a cursor of up to this big uh, but I can't really see any of you guys doing that as obviously it is completely huge but obviously you guys can uh, choose between the 15 sizes of course one just being the default but I know some people might want to go slightly larger as um, whether it's it's because of um, like your eyes if you can't see right or if you guys just like prefer a larger cursor you can go ahead and pick this in this setting right here so in terms of mouse customizations on Windows 11 that is generally about it now if you guys are actually looking for a mouse customization by actually making your own mouse um, icon and then actually importing that and using that in Windows as the icon that you do see if you guys want a video on how to go ahead and do that make sure you drop a thumbs up and if this video gets 100 likes I'll be showing you guys how to do that and also if you guys want I can go ahead and show you how to make your own custom mouse cursor in something like Photoshop or paint and then how to go ahead and import it as your current mouse cursor but guys that is all that i do have for this video of course if you did enjoy it i really would appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe i'm doing content like this all the time guys but a massive thank you to all of you for watching and hope to see you all in the next one